What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Ooh, girl, we got some drama, honey. Oh, girl, uh, honey, honey, honey. Miss Thing, when I tell you, today's drama will have you shook, girl. Jeffree Star disses Manny MUA. Did Laura Lee cheat on her husband? Jackie Ina throws massive shade at Laura Lee. And Patrick Star scratching his balls. All that and more, girl, in this video. Start the video, girl. Girl, so all the porn Dexter and every one of my videos have been in the comments. Well, with Lex, you don't know if Jeffree Star and Manny Amy Way are not friends. Therefore, you are rethink. Ah, unsubscribe. Girl, I am keep telling you over and over the proof is in the subtweet, girl. So, a lot of people have been messaging Jeffree Star, Twitter, right? And Manny Amy Way is liking those comments, girl. Ultimate shade. Well, somebody had said, you know, Manny Amy Way is blocking me. Manny Amy Way is just going on a whole damn blocking spree, girl. Blah, 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 not bother. And Jeffree Star responded with like, damn. And above all else, Jeffree Star posts a photo where he's posted like this, girl. Like a little praying mantis pose, honey. With a snatch body and makeup snatch the house. And he comments on there. And the post says, showing up to my ex-best friend's funeral. And so many people were adding Manny FUA, adding him on Twitter and on Instagram. And, Jer and Manny's just blocking people left and right. And then he goes to Snapchat and talks about his perfect, lovely laugh. Bro. Honey, I cannot keep up with this drama. I keep telling you, it's so hard for me to keep up. So if you haven't been following, girl, like the title says one thing, but in the video, mine, we talk about a lot of other stuff, drama too. And I, lately I've been pumping out 20 minute video, pump, pump, pump. So you gotta watch it if you have the time, girl. And you know what I find most interesting? I was looking at the canon that is Jeffree Star. Last year, around this time, Jeffree was getting so much freaking hate. Every other video was like, boom, 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 Jeffree Star exposed, Jeffree Star this, Jeffree Star that. Literally, Jeffree Star was under so much heat last year. We have come full circle because everybody that I know is in full defense of Jeffree Star. They feel like, you know what? I may not like you, but it is so wrong the way Manny and Laura are doing you. And it's obvious there's something going on with what Jeffree Star has been posting and subtweeting. And Manny and Laura are trying to defuse the situation like nothing ever happened. But we know, girl. We know something happened. And like I said, the proof is in the subtweet, girl. And I hate when people just subtweet. That's such a cowardly thing to say. If you can't at somebody on Twitter, if you can't at the person, then don't even say it. So you're just venting into a black hole, starting more drama. And then when they come for you, Oh, I didn't know that. That's not what I was talking about. Girl, whatever, okay? You start the drama and then you run. Jeffree Star, I have not, I have been surprised that he has not been adding Manny and stuff like that. And everyone keeps yelling, Coffee still performs! Wait a minute, that was yesterday's video. Everyone keeps yelling, Expose Manny! Girl, no, it is not going to happen. Jeffree Star will not expose Manny, okay? So y'all can stop that. That's never going to happen. Maybe he might throw a little shade, a little sideline shade on the little Snapchat or Twitter. and You know, subliminal messages. But he is not going to make a video. Video on YouTube exposing Matt. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Matt Jeffrey Star is about one thing, and that's money. And he ain't gonna let this busted ass relationship mess with his money. Okay the last thing he's gonna do. So y'all can lay that to rest, okay? What we can expect is maybe a little Snapchat rant on what really happened, or a little Twitter rant, well, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I can see that, but not a video. But even if he was to come for Manny, you already know, girl, I already, girl, I know Manny, girl. I've been following him for five years on social media, and so if you look at the Manny girl, whenever he gets attacked like that, he plays this role, Manny the Protozoa. He will cry. If Jeffree Star comes for him in a video or majorly in a tweet, it says here in my YouTube book, he will cry, girl. Yes, ma'am, that he will pull a stunt and cry and collect all them views the house because he ain't gonna sit there and clap back and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, 
he's just gonna cry. So, with that being said, we're all patiently awaiting for Jeffree if he'll throw us some more little sideline shade, girl. I love it so much. So, speaking of Jeffree Star, his makeup sold out, girl. And he let it be known, girl. He went to Snapchat and was like, my makeup sold out, honey, faster than last year's collection. And my fat ass went to the website, girl, and I bought me two things. I bought me champagne tears, after throwing all the shade he was throwing at Jaclyn Hill, he collected all her subscribers' tears and turned it into a lipstick, girl, called Champagne Tears on his website. Check it out. It's one of the best lipsticks that I like. I bought it. I also bought Christmas Cookie. I bought that one, too. They're both lippy, so I'm excited to get them in the mail. But you know what is really shady? To the point, Dexter's... Cause y'all don't believe it. Clock at the house, girl. You want to sit here and always debunk me. Check this out, girl. Debunk this. Debunk this on that ass. So, Jeffree Star has released the family collection. And he's now released the holiday collection. Okay. Two massive collections Jeffree Star has launched. But Laura, the leak. And Manny M.U.A., the leech, have yet to review the makeup. If you go through their videos, they have not reviewed the Holiday Jeffree Star collection or the family what or the family house collection with the dogs and all that other stuff. Girl, girl, and if you really want to get into it, got written down. The last time they all were hanging out was at the Bora Bora trip. They took a photo together. That was the last time they were all seen together as a group. So ever since then, drama, 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 and now it's falling out. Well, girl, back to Laura the Leech, girl. Following up with yesterday's drama. So she has, you know, people have been coming for her with this whole Jeffrey drama and all that stuff like that, right? Well, she released a video yesterday about her doing a collab with ColourPop Cosmetics. Here's what it looks like for those of you who've missed out. And she states in the video that it is that she's not collecting any money from it and all the money from the makeup that is sold goes to support little poor animals and they can live longer and I love it so much. But some of you have been speculating why she's doing such a great cause underneath this drama that's been going on with Jeffree Star and her being a fake friend and all that stuff. So, you know, you can piece it together, girl, if you want. I'm just happy it's a good cause, it's a positive thing. And I do always say you should adopt the animal instead of just, you know, buying one because there's a lot of animals who need good homes. But, well, even more of a ruckus has been going on. Okay, girl, seriously? Girl, put down your phone, stop texting. Girl, here we go. Jaclyn Hill released a video yesterday, okay? And it was a challenge, like a truth or dare challenge. Well, so many people were so upset with Laura Lee. Oh, girl, the drama. So one of the dares was for Manny the leech and Laura Lee the leech to kiss on camera, girl. Well, anything for views, girl. Anything for views, Laura Lee and Manny and Mue make out on camera in front of four million people, girl. That And so many people are upset. They're like, isn't she married? Oh, oh, isn't Laura Lee married and she's kissing Manny and Mue on camera? Some people said they saw a little tongue action. I don't believe it. But, you know, at the same time, we all like to get views. But, girl, um, some things I wouldn't do. And kissing Manny and Mue for views is where I draw the line, girl. No, ma'am. You can you imagine making out with Manny anyway? How much copper eyelid nude lip you would have all over your damn face afterwards, girl? So I want to know, and a lot of people are saying that's it. She basically cheated on her husband right there. She cheated on her husband making out intimately with another man for views. So she's putting her whole entire marriage on the line for views and to sell her palette that she loves to make that sits right here in the room, girl. Hello. Only used it a few times. So I really want to know, is it a reach point back thirst or did she really cheat on her husband by making out with another man? I don't know. You know what? Whoever was submitting those dares, are they don't know how to get views the house. The way you get views the house is if Jaclyn Hill and Laura Lee were to make out. No one's bothered Manny Amy Way. If Jaclyn Hill and Laura Lee would have made out the house, Boom! Millions of subscribers, front page of YouTube trending for days. 
but they're not thinking. They weren't thinking. They ate too much ketchup and mayonnaise in the other video. And you know what, Laura Lee? You sold yourself short on this one because if you would have made out with Jaclyn Hill, views, views, views. But girl, whatever. I, I would have, I would have, you know, and they, if they would have put that on a Connect Pal or a Patreon, the subscribers they would have got, girl. All this drama that's going on, like this whole fighting and beefing in the makeup company, com when the makeup community falling apart, whatever. You know what? Who, who I blame it on? I blame all this on Patrick Starr. Oh, I just saw a dislike. Oh, there's another dislike. But hear me out, girl. I'm telling you, Patrick Starr is the root of all evil in this drama. And I'm going to tell you why. So if you've been following this for years, girl, Manny MUA was a nobody making makeup videos on YouTube. Just like a lot of people are. You know, starting out, getting no views. Well, he was literally obsessed with Patrick Starr, okay? <gasps> yes, it's true. And if there's a video where everything I'm saying, Manny MUA is saying in a Q&A with Patrick Starr, I think it was on his channel many years ago. So in that video, they asked, how did you meet Patrick Starr? And Patrick Starr's right there. He says, well, you know, I saw him at an event and I ran up to him and I asked for a picture and they were start talking and then Manny Amyway just kept blowing him up. And now Manny, and then Patrick Starr helped him out and you know, got him some subscribers and views and collaborations and built him up. And thus is Manny Amyway the leech. If Patrick Starr, was to just treat Manny Amy Way the leech as just an ordinary person and wouldn't like, if Manny Amy would run up to him and be like, oh, I love you so much, you can take a picture, autograph. And Patrick Starr would be like, girl, not bother, get away. Get away, demon. Girl, seriously, Manny Amy Way would have still been making videos, working at Mac the House, getting 100 views. And none of this would have been, ha girl, I'm telling you, Patrick Starr was the one who is the claim to fame of Manny Amy Way. And then he also leached on over to Jack and Hill. This is like, girl, I'm not making it up. Go back to Manny Amy Way's videos years ago. You can see the evolution, girl, of Manny the Leech. Patrick Starr and then Laura Lee, he done clung on to and now it's all this drama. So girl, I found so interesting. Um, you know, Patrick Starr was the co-host of the American Beauty Influencer Award YouTube. And there is a picture that Patrick Starr had posted. I guess somebody had Patrick Starr's phone in the audience. Well, there's this picture where they're like in between sets and Patrick Starr's getting ready. And you can see him in the background. And they're, they kind of like zoom in and take a picture of Patrick Starr. He's literally in between sets. In between outfit changes or something. And he's sitting there, girl. Legs right open, girl. And everyone's saying he was scratching his balls. Girl, let me show you the photo. So you can see the stage. You can see that awkward pose, girl. And they're like, girl, yes, man. She was all there scratching her balls. Not bother. Girl, you're so shady. And you know what the most weird part about this whole drama is? It wasn't even that this was a leaked photo or somebody was being shady and took a picture of Patrick Starr. No, ma'am. This picture came from Patrick Starr's own Snapchat. So his people took this photo as a joke and posted it on his Snapchat. And when I got that photo, girl, there, the little comment was Patrick Starr scratching balls? Question mark. Girl, y'all are so messy, the house. Oh, even more drama. Oh, are you ready for this one? Okay, so this is this is where you start moisturizing your face because it's gonna get really good. Because if not, your face is gonna crack and you'll get wrinkles. The house. Jackie Ina, girl, good old Jackie girl, is the one who exposed Laura Lee. I could not freaking di oh. Okay, girls. Okay, so my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, a couple weeks, months ago. Jeffree Star had tweeted out that Jackie Ina does not pay her taxes, okay? And that she better pay her taxes and woo, woo, woo. Well, according to all the sub tweets and drama, Laura Lee is the one who put that little bug into Jeffree's ear and then Jeffree went on and repeated it. Well, Jackie Ina finally has had it, girl, because she took the Snapchat and she let us have it on all the drama but before then, she made sure to address Laura Lee on Twitter. She even said her name. This was no subtweet the house. This is what she had to say.
So Jackie Ina, boom, boom. After that, she went to Snapchat and said this. So I was actually gonna wait until December to say something about this, but I was tweeting about something similar today earlier, so why not? There is no December wedding. There is no December wedding. There is no, there never was. You guys know you actually got me and my man in trouble because this family was like, what's this about a December wedding we don't know about? I brought this up because recently it was resurfaced again, uh, along with the information that I don't pay my taxes, I don't pay my taxes, I don't pay my taxes, both of which are not true. You know, you don't have to like scream from the mountaintops, shutting down every rumor when you hear them. It is annoying, yes, but you don't always have to. At the time, I was just like, this This sounds so stupid, it's not even worth addressing. It still really isn't. But you know what? I tweeted about something that I really kind of kept my mouth shut on for a while now. And you know, I think it's just kind of annoying because normal everyday people, they make videos about YouTubers, they tweet about YouTubers, what they like about them, what they dislike, they will make Re, you know, reaction videos about every move we make, but then when a YouTuber talks about it, they're inserting their nose in it. Like, but you did too, sis. I'm confused. So, you know, earlier on Twitter, I was talking about something that was personal to me. So earlier today, I was tweeting about something that happens to be a personal experience that I had with someone I personally know. I think people tend to forget that. And the typical response was the, you're bitter, and she seems jealous, and blah, 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 which I guess is what, I guess it, what is to be expected. But you know, the thing that I don't understand is everybody is so quick to point out how ugly the beauty community is and how it's gotten to where it is now. But did you ever stop to think that maybe the reason why it is where it is now is because people refuse to be held accountable for anything? Like, how are you going to get mad? That someone that personally knew someone else that you've probably never met, mind you, to take a step, take a step back and remember that. Okay, I know these people. A lot of you guys don't. So because I dropped a little jewel about a personal experience I had with someone that I really thought was uncalled for. Actually, several experiences that I thought were uncalled for. And how are you to call me bitter and jealous? Like, okay, I, I guess we're redefining those words now. I guess that's literally what we're doing. Most of you guys are smart enough to put two and two together. And the reason why I said what I said earlier today is because I used to be friends with someone who went around telling people that I don't do my taxes and I was getting married in December. I don't even understand how that's tea. Like, that's not even real tea, sis. Real tea, sis? Oh, she's sleeping with somebody else. Oh, she got uh, uh, pregnant by another dude. That's tea. Who makes up a rumor about a wedding? Y'all not even doing it right. You can call me crazy. You can call me loud. You can call me annoying. I am actually really annoying. Sometimes I get on my own nerves. Like today. I haven't even showered today. I got on a full face of makeup. I haven't even showered. How's that for some tea? But you will never call me bitter. You will never accuse me of trying to ruin somebody. I can't ruin somebody with something you've done yourself. Okay. All these little YouTubers that you guys watch that are fake positive on their Twitters and fake positive on their Snapchat, that may be great. Sometimes I get, you don't want to be bothered. I understand that. I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I, I'm with you. I'm okay with that. But the one thing you can always say about me is I'm always myself. I'm always honest about myself. Sometimes I do clap back. Sometimes I do fall short as a human being. I will never say otherwise but i'm not fake positive i'm not fake nice i'm not fake anything it's just reviews but let that be a lesson to anybody who has that one friend because we've got that one friend who likes to spill all the tea girl and you know what half the time it don't even be true and you know what a lot of times we keep them around just for entertainment like girl who said that or you know how sometimes you fake didn't hear something just so you can like hear the version of it like oh girl what i never knew that meanwhile you heard it three weeks ago okay we we all know that we never actually tell them our business right we all know that right like just so we just so we know we all know that right okay i'm just i'm just making sure i don't think people really realize that you don't ever ever tell the resident big mouth your own business okay
just don't call me bitter for pointing it out. Don't call me bitter for pointing out someone else doing me dirty. That's got to be the stupidest thing. That literally makes no sense. Nothing about my story is bitter. Nothing about this house I live in is bitter. I am extremely blessed. But do me a favor, and when you hear me call someone out on something that happened to me, please don't throw it back in my face and call me jealous. That's not even what jealousy looks like. It's not even what jealousy smells like. It's not what jealousy, but nothing about that reeks jealousy. Jealousy is not the clapback to the, or the response to everything. Okay? Thanks. And also when two people bond together based on their dislike for other people, i.e., I don't know, let's just say for example, like me, two people bond with each other based on their dislike for me, friendships like that tend to not last. Oh my gosh, Jackie told it like it was, girl. I love Jackie so much. Okay, girl, so in other news, there is a sickening girl on Instagram, right? She sent me, she sent over some makeup that she did a collaboration with Morphe. And I know y'all are like, Morphe, girl. But she did a collaboration with Morphe and she sent it, and she sent it to me. Not sponsored, like they sent it to me as PR. She is so beautiful. And I just thought, you know, and I just like, you know what? Why don't we just give some light? to another influencer who's not sucking and leeching. So this is her collaboration with Morphe, okay? Check it out. And I'll link her Instagram down below so you can see all the drama. Okay, so this is called Vinyl, and what you see here is not what it looks like in person. In person, it's like a little bit more toned down. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little swatch here for you. Boom. And it has like a really good scent to it too. So, so this wasn't a product where the box has her name, but then when you open the product, it doesn't have her name at all. They just kind of like slapped it together. They just kind of like threw an existing product in there. No, ma'am. In here, it has her little autograph too, girl. And there it is too. And it comes with this thing here too inside of it. So you can line your lips. Now, the only issue I ever had with Morphe is I feel like some of their brushes, some of their brushes are questionable, but this one knocked it out the park, girl. I really do like it. But girl, if you did not like this video, my name is Laura Lee. But if you did like the video, my name is Rich Luck. Smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. I do have merchandise down below. Here's one of them. This is the Not Bothered Mug. So check it out if you want to. You can follow me on social media, my Instagram, Facebook, all down below. All right, so next video, peace. Bye, love you so much. Most importantly, I want to know what you think about all oh, this drama. Because I will be in the comments, girl. See you there.